Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jay. This video is called Photo Experience and the gist of this video is to kind of just give you an inside information, a commentary about these photos that I've chosen from the Philippines. I think it's good for people to kind of get this commentary because photographers or artists, they only get to speak about their work at photo exhibits. I'm not saying these photos are photo exhibit quality. I'm just saying I think it will be very helpful for beginners, novices, photo enthusiasts to kind of get that inside information. Actually, I didn't bring any fancy equipment. I didn't bring my Fujifilm X-T2, X-H1. I actually just brought this little BAM! <laughs> the Fujifilm X-70. It's kind of just like a small compact point shoot. It's kind of like a cult favorite. This thing is like a friggin ninja. You can covered up with your hand pretty much like okay let's take a look at some photos so the first photo here I took actually on the first day I really like this photo just compositionally with the leading lines the negative space just kind of the story it tells I kind of wanted to get this first photo out of the way because this isn't typically the style that I like. Um, it's very moody, it's very, it's very Instagram likable. <laughs> the type of photos I like are just a little more, just oh, a little more heart and gut into it, something a little more contextualized. The second photo here, these are the type of photos that I like, things that are a little more contextualized, a little more human. You can definitely get a feel and the, the grittiness of just where you're at. The first one is very, it's not cliche, but you see a lot of these moody photos now, isolated subject, which is cool, but you know, I like documentary style a little bit, but still compositionally cool. Like Sebastian Salgado, his photos are I'm not even going to go into it. Again, this photo, um, it gives a little more feel with the ladies and the umbrella. And what the? Hopped in my eye. It just, this photo just gives a little more feel of where you're at. Again, I'm still playing with leading lines, but still, it gives it a little more context. And the next photo is literally the same exact scene. Um, this is just an example of shooting the scene out, um, waiting until something else pops up or just continue sticking to shooting. And again, I don't know which photo I like better. I included them both just to give you an example of just keep shooting, you never know. This next shot, I personally like a lot because you don't see this type of stuff as much especially on social media, like, nah. But I think it's very important in terms of storytelling. In filmmaking, we call these kind of like insert shots, the exchange, things like that. And I think it just tells a better story. I could have easily punched out. And again, this isn't a photo that I zoomed in. For you beginners, try to keep everything in frame. Just what you include is just what you want. So try to keep every, don't cheat and kind of crop in afterwards, and eh, no. And right here, I don't know if you know this, but this is actually a selfie. Yes, um, look a little close. It's just me and my mom, we're in the small little mirror right there. And again, I like stuff like this. Just have fun, man. Just take photos, take selfies, take creative selfies. Just do whatever the fuck you want. Like if photography doesn't have to be serious. You can literally take selfies like this or creative selfies. I call this my family portrait, me and my mom's. And this is another uh, photo, um, obviously there's, it's very religious in that country. I took this photo literally outside of the car and I just put the shutter speed to 1 500th of a second and just boom, snapped that photo. You can still take good photos out of a car. I like the composition of this, it's a little weird. This next photo, same thing, this is literally outside of the car. I was like, oh cool, what is this? <laughs> boom. Okay, now this next photo is where things get a little heavy. Um, so low key, me and my mom were kind of on a little bit of a rescue mission. Um, this kind of cousin of mine, I guess he would be like my cousin, even though he's kind of my uncle because my mom adopt, my grandma adopted him. 
So my mom and him, they're like brother, sister, but we're almost the same age. Anyways, I won't get too much into detail because it's a little personal, but um, this is actually a photo from inside of his living conditions. And I'm not even joking. It was, it, it was, it was like he was living in a cell, like just concrete bars, obviously. And just seeing it was, it was kind of heartbreaking. And uh, uh, whoop. like I ain't gonna lie, like I like, afterwards I kind of cried about the whole situation because it was just just seeing someone in these living conditions were kind of hurt, but. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so this photo intrigued me because you're seeing people outside who, and it raises the question like this person who's literally living kind of almost in a cell, who's almost imprisoned, like who's actually in prison? Is it the person inside or is it the person outside or the people or the culture outside? And it kind of just has that crazy dichotomy that kind of can hit you hard um and yeah anyway let's move on <laughs> um so boom this photo was just at that time just a breath of fresh air because these kids in the neighborhood were just jumping on me americano americano it was just really nice seeing smiles and i love shooting kids like some people might say it's creepy whatever but i love it because there's just no veil with them they're just they don't know that they're living in these certain conditions they're just kids they don't know if they're rich poor ugly pretty whatever they're just you know kids and smiles and they're happy to see some foreigner this next image i really love because it's just a really beautiful radiant smile and obviously cosmetically whatever but it's just smiling ear to ear and she just is loving life and just happy. And again, I'm gonna end it on this image. It's again, kids. And this is the type of thing that I do a lot if you, if you know me personal, I like to put these tools, these devices in the kids' hands. So I had them take a selfie. So I flipped this up and I put this and I put it in their hands and they just took a photos of themselves. And you can obviously see their eye line kind of looking above the camera a little bit because they're looking at the screen. I do this a lot because it, it's just, you want to spark the youth. You want to give them something tangible, let them, you know, in on an experience that they might not ever experience again. And like this video, I'm trying to kind of spark beginners and give them a inside background information on just how you compose an image or just have fun or just, you know, what, a camera can do to you or what power it can give somebody um but yeah man so just hope you like the photos write something at the bottom you know comment subscribe i'm gonna be doing these videos kind of like once a week i have a lot of ideas so just yeah comment hit the like and um i guess lastly i say this in my personal life just be cool be nice be sexy be positive. Yeah. All right. Mmm. Lukewarm coffee. Love it. <laughs> Straight up bean water. Why is coffee only good when it's really hot or over ice? Ice cold. Mm. There's no gray area.